I made a discovery. A set of steps that lead from the bottom field into the garden. Like Helen says, you've got to bin it to win it. I would never say that. <laughs> Wrapped with bacon in a leek sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Off camera, I asked a stupid question and Paul wants me to refer to it. <laughs> Don't you? No, it was a lovely question. But I look like I've been in a fight with all the cats. You do. <laughs> Just have it scrapped in the middle of the field. Uh, it's due to rain for the next uh, two weeks. <laughs> it's not due to rain for two weeks. It's due to rain for like four days. Just use a proper weather app that knows what it's talking about instead of like yeah. weather for writing poetry in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Littlest Chateau. Built in the 18th century on the top of a valley overlooking a small village in the southwest of France. This is Paul and I'm Helen and with our two children and three cats we moved to France in the middle of the chaos of 2020 to follow our dream of living in a French chateau. Come join us at the start of our journey as we share the beauty of this forgotten building and follow our progress as we restore it back to what it once was. Um, it's me, do you want to talk? I always talk. You always talk, You're yeah. You're supposed to be the talkist, talkingist. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the talker or talkingist. Okay, um, so we are high on the success of clearing the barns. And so we thought we would move around to the backside of the chateau and clear what I really want to call the frontage, but I suppose it's the backage. We'll show you. There's the digger just over there. And this little pathway here leads down from our garden area where the playset is to the backside of the chateau and ultimately down into the village. And if you have a look all along here, whoopsie, where's my finger? All along here, there's the chateau. There's lots and lots more trees. So this is the job we've been wanting to get done ever since we bought the chateau because it's mm. in, um, you just can't see the building um, for the weeds basically. So, um, it's going to make a real difference, I think, getting yeah. this chopped down. This is the last time that we can really do it because they're already in blossom. Um, if we don't do it now, we're going to be cursing the day that, that we didn't do it when we could. So mm. let's get into it and just do it. Because it's nice and sunny. So yeah, there's no rain plans for the next few yeah. days. So off we go. Let's go. Hello. <sighs> Hello. Burp. So um, delightful. The first thing to go is just all these brambles really in this broke, fallen down branch over here that you can't oh, yeah. even see because they're quite sizable <laughs> and they do produce blackberries but I mean it's everywhere we've got blackberries everywhere so it's gonna go. Kids are gonna curse you. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> they love these blackberries because it's right by the swing set just over there. Yeah. So it's their favourites, but okay, if they've got to go, they've got to go. Get in your digger. And you could do some maybe if you're feeling brave. With? Your teeth. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Um, 
so in case you hadn't guessed from the time lapse, what we're doing with this um, tree that we got here that's in the ground is rather than sawing it and then pulling it, we're just trying to pull it straight up in sections so that it takes the, um, the root system with it so we don't then have to dig it out. Mm. It's taken quite a long time, um, so we got impatient and now we're just gonna, <laughs> we're gonna try pulling the whole lot out at once. So <laughs> let's see how it goes. Here is the tree in question. It's a really that. mean tree as well. It looks pretty with the blossom, but it's got really sharp prickles on it mm, or yeah. they've grown, it's not bramble. Either something's kind of grown through with it or it's just a nasty tree. No, it's part of the tree. Yeah. You can see, look, if I come down here, you can see, look, it's got these, the younger branches have all of these lovely thorns, thorns in them. So there we are. Right, let's go. to a safe distance. Good noise. Timba! <laughs> I think that snapped it off rather than pulling the roots out. So the plan didn't sort of work completely. We've got some of the root out, but the bulk of it is still there, sadly. And I've got the wrong bucket on the digger <laughs> to dig it up. Have a look. So you can see, this is quite a lot of old um, stones from this wall where it's collapsed over the years. It used to be joined onto there. And obviously this tree has not helped it um, and it's just gone. Um, but the stump itself is here. You can see that it's still fairly well embedded in there. It's quite a big, big stump, actually. I'll have to get the other bucket on the digger to pull it out. Um, but there we go. So here we are. We've just had some very, very late lunch. Um, but we have got the first tree down, which isn't even in line with the chateau, which is really annoying because <laughs> I looked out of the dining room windows. Um, where you can start to see the line of trees hoping that there might be a little bit more of a clear view but no no not in line with the chateau so we're not even on the first tree in line yet um but i'll show you where we've got two you can possibly see i can't see because it's really bright but you can possibly see um behind me paul beavering away trying to get some of the roots out that we've been pulling but i'll show you where we are so there you go that's where we are at the moment there's a man with a pickaxe sort of hammering small stones. I'm not sure why. I assume he's getting roots out. I would use the digger personally, but whatever. <laughs> um, so we've got basically everything along the line of the chateau to go, absolutely everything. So time to get on with it. I foresee a problem with this particular tree yeah. and its neighbor, which we'll look at in a minute. And here's the wall, ow, which is ow. Thank you, prickles. And so, that is, tell us. Well, this tree, as you can see, has in fact been part of the cause of the destruction of this wall. Uh, um, the roots yeah, have just grown okay. and it's sort of partially fallen out and then regrown in there, I think. Is it um, just by your right knee? Is that, um, that's a tree stump, isn't it? That's a not root. wall. This that's is a root. root. This is yeah. a root. That's a root. All of this is roots embedded with stone, so that's oh. particularly tricky. Uh, How do we get it down? That's a fine question. <laughs> I don't really know. Oh. I'm tempted to sort of cut the roots and see if it can and see if it can be moved as a mass rather than try to cut each um, sort of limb down manually and then pull it out. Hmm. Uh, 
I don't really know how it's going to go. Some of this is stones, you see, rocks. Yeah. I wish I don't really want to try and chainsaw accidentally. No, <laughs> no go you're not going to get far with them. No. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Let's I'll have an explore. Yeah. Pa pass me the pickaxe and I'll have a look. Okay, that went pretty well. Cut a few of the roots. You can see here, here and there that were quite badly embedded in the top of the wall. Let me have a look. Up here, look. Okay. And ooh. cut these. These three here that oh, were yeah, yeah. going to pull it down. Um, and yeah, we just basically ripped it up <laughs> and yeah. out it came. Um, this uh, looks like what we done, but it isn't. <laughs> We yeah, didn't do this. Yeah. This was already here like that. You can see there's moss all over it. I was thinking the same because even yeah. just all along here behind you looks dreadful. Like we wrecked the wall, but we really didn't. No, we didn't. This is a wall that has collapsed thanks to all of this growth. Yep. Okay, we've got to chop it up. Yeah, that's going to be fun. There we go, end of day one, chainsaws run out of gas, Helen's gone to get the kids, so probably time to pack up everything. Let's have a look at where we got to. Clear some brambles along here. That's got to go. I'll get, get that with the digger on the way back up. All of this along here is cleared, apart from we've got like a nice pile um, of the trimmings now. This tree's out, the stump's still in. That one's out and the stump's in, but already starting to look quite a lot clearer which is nice. Um, of course, then all this is to go, but um, not bad progress, uh, given we only got started really about 11 o'clock because of um, just getting all the equipment ready to cages. Uh, see you on day two. What are we making today? We are making a thing that I don't know the name of. Um, so I am going to call it chicken and tarragon wrapped in bacon. And you'll see how it is as we go. Um, over here, I have got two chicken breasts, which I've just sprinkled with some dried tarragon. And I am going to wrap those up in some bacon. And there we go. We've got some leeks that go in the pan as well, which will come into play in a moment. But come with me to the cooker. So I'm going to pop my chicken in. Top side first, I guess, if you want to think of it like that. And I'm just going to let that brown for maybe a minute, two minutes on each side. So my chicken has been browning for maybe a minute or so each side. And you can see the colour difference. I'm just going to take that out into that kind of chickeny, bacony juice that's left in the pan. I'm going to pop my leeks. I'm going to turn the heat down for my leeks to the lowest that the ring will go, just because I don't want them to catch. Just for a couple of minutes. I've turned the heat back up a bit more. And into the pan over here, I've got about 300 ml of chicken stock, just from a chicken stock cube, not from anything special. And I'm going to pour that in to help lift up any juicy bits from the bottom of the pan. Let that bubble up. And in goes the chicken. And the chicken now will bubble away quite merrily until it's cooked through. So about probably about 20 minutes we'll come back and check it so I'm simmering it with the lid on to retain some of the liquid 
and if it's got too much liquid in it, after 20 minutes, I'll turn it up a wee bit and let the liquid boil down a bit. So we've been going for about, I would say about 15 or so minutes. Um, and you can see, you might be able to see, even with the lid on, that stock sauce has reduced a little. Into this now, I'm going to add some frozen peas. The recipe that I'm following vaguely um, does call for this. This is not just a random addition. So I'm going to give them a stir through and then just leave this just for another five minutes or so, just to let those peas cook through. We're ready to go. Um, the peas have absorbed some of that liquid, as I said, so we are ready to plate up. So here I have got um, a little bit of a cheat. These are just some frozen sliced potatoes um, that you can get everywhere in supermarkets in France. They're really, really good. They come in goose or duck fat, <laughs> all the healthy options, <laughs> with garlic and parsley. So just for easiness, we're having it with these potatoes today. So here we have it. We have got chicken in, or chicken with tarragon, sorry, wrapped with bacon in a leek sauce. Sauce, I suppose you could call it sauce. A chickeny, bacony leek sauce with peas. It's another one of our really fast recipes. You can just leave it to do its own thing while you get on with something else because it just sits and simmers on the hob really easily. Um, and it is really tasty, so enjoy. Bon appétit. So, welcome back. It is for us day two of clearing the backside of the chateau. It still sounds confusing to me to say the backside because it feels like it's the front. Um, because it's got the balcony and everything on it, but it doesn't have the main doors, so it's the back, I guess. I don't know. We've got this. I think this is another one of the really horrible um, black locusts that um, seem to just self-seed and sprout up everywhere. Luckily this one hasn't done any kind of leafing or blooming or blossoming as yet. So that's good, that can just come straight down. And then we get into these quite big blossom trees over here which are the same as the ones that we were taking down yesterday. They are pretty prickly. So yeah, we shall get on with it. Look at my chateau. Isn't it pretty? It's crazy to look at it sometimes and think, that's where I live. <laughs> it's a bit insane. But yeah, here it is. And here is Paul. So on we go. Um, so we were, uh, I was just uh, clearing away the brambles from the back of this wall over here when I made a discovery. Let's go and have a look. It's Bramble Kingdom once again, but just poking out, I don't know if you can see here, over here is a set of steps that lead from the bottom field into the garden. Is it proper steps? Yeah. Huh. I'm not on mic by the way. It's proper steps. Wow. And so we'll get this uncovered and show you in a bit more detail once we go. But the trouble <laughs> is there's quite a lot of brambles and some of them are out of the reach of the digger here. There's Helen um, beavering away up between this silly tree over here.
look what we discovered. We have got some steps going from the field look. to the garden underneath all those brambles. How good is this? That's awesome. They go up and they go down. I'm up them at the moment, but I could come down because they're steps. <laughs> and they're not it's in bad, so exciting. They are not in bad condition considering the no, amount they're of not. brambles that were over the top of them. I'm just going to come down. I'm going to do it slightly gingerly because they're a bit muddy and we've literally only just cleared away all the rubbish from them. So I'm doing them one at a time like our OAP cats. <laughs> there we go. Just to give you some context, I'm going to do a slow sweep. There we go. The field. So this is our bottom field here. And there are steps. Of course, the question is, the interesting point is, although they lead up, they don't lead to the garden level exactly. There's sort of only about two thirds of the way. Why don't we go up them? Let's go up them. And yeah, go up them and show what you mean. Let's go up the steps. The new steps. You can go up and down and up and down all day long. Whoop. Now, there's these sort of bigger plateau bits. I'm wondering whether there was, you know, something else more because there's a few stones up here. But um, yeah, I'm up the top. I'm coming. And that is so useful. It's so useful, isn't it? Before, before to get from the uh, bottom field to the garden, you'd have to go all the way there. There's the ride on mower all the way around to the far distance over here where there's a little tiny ramp. Up this ramp plus the swing set all the way up here to where the digger is now. <laughs> which is right and pain in the bum. Of course now there's this sort of dangerous bit to traverse here. But mm, at yeah. least there's some steps, which is awesome. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Steps. <laughs> so we've got the steps. We've done not a bad job. It's the end of day two now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. End of day two, really, because the rain's about to come down and we've got to go and get the kids. But yeah, yeah. It's coming up to about quarter to four French time. <laughs> I couldn't decide whether to do France or French then, so it came out as French. Let's um, go and do a yeah. sort of progress yeah. report from down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Yeah. Hard day's work there. Yep. End of day two now. Mm -hmm. uh, let's show you where we got to. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look. I hadn't seen this view before. <laughs> now, that is just looking so much nicer. Unbelievable. You can see the chateau. Yeah. It looks like it's completely cleared, of course, because this angle is in, it, in the favour of the bits that we've done all, along, all the way along here. Um, but, of course, this... The remaining bit here is going to be quite a lot of fun because it's heavily Bramble Kingdom. Oh, it's really brambly. It's really bad. Yeah. And it's also at a, on an angle and at a bank, so it's going to be entertaining. Um, yeah, we didn't have any way to um, protect the camera when we were clearing the step area and it was raining at the time. So sorry, we haven't got any footage of us actually clearing it, but it is much more fun to see the fact that we've got secret steps that we didn't even know were there until about two hours ago. We need like an umbrella attachment for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> little umbrella hat. <laughs> Cold shoe umbrella. Yep. Uh, anyway, there we go. Uh, see you on day three. Here we are, back for day three of clearing all of the brambles in the entire world. <laughs> uh, last you saw us, I think we'd just cleared the steps. So now we've got some quite big blossom trees to do, um, which I will show you in a sec. You got anything interesting to add? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Uh, it's wet. It promises to rain later, so we're going to mm. crack on and get this done. Yeah, plan. So yeah, here we go. You can see this huge tree here that's come out into full blossom. Bit of a shame again that we've got a bin it, but it is just one. I mean, it's not even one big tree. It's just a huge collection of stalks. Come and see. Okay. It's just- Stalky stalk stalks. A zillion little thin trees that have just grown up into a big bunch. Yeah, but like Helen says, you've got to bin it to win it. I didn't say that. <laughs> like you always say. I would never say that. 
I reckon you could chop these down because you seem to be doing okay last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Off camera, I asked a stupid question and Paul wants me to repeat it. <laughs> Don't you? No, it was a lovely question. <laughs> So we just assumed that the answer was do it down here and not up there. <laughs> yeah. What did you ask for the I audience? I said, do you want me to chop them down up there on the bank or down here? So let's just recap. So here we are where the trees are easily accessible just here on the bank. And up there <laughs> is a six foot high wall with brambles and you can't get to the trees due to the fact that they're a good two meters away from the wall. Um, I mean, yeah, you could try going up the wall and cutting them if you want to. I'm very tired. Oh, <laughs> don't be horrid. Sorry. You hateful. Right. <laughs> I'm using the good saw for that. Oh, no. I'm not using the rubbish saw. <laughs> it's not the one that's saved for best. Yeah, no, I'm using the save for best oh, one. Oh, yeah. horror. Right, let's go. Yes. Ah, oh, disaster. Snap the rope trying to pull out yep. this this tree behind us over here. Oops. Come on, light. Yeah, it's a cluster of little trees. And I thought it was going to come out, but it did not think it was going to come out. And I snapped the rope down here. You can just see there now that it's gone. And with it, our ability to pull trees down. Oh, yeah. Such a shame. Yeah. So annoying. We can't, no, we can't use the other rope, can we? Because it's just a hand rope. No. It's got no hook on the end. Grr. Yeah. A trip to the shop later, trip I think. To the bricko. Yeah. Arg. Too much Jeremy Clarkson watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too More much power. power. <laughs> but yeah, subtlety is sometimes the key. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, we're back from the Bricko. Um, we didn't get any more rope because they sold rope, but not with uh, hooks on the end. So it was completely pointless. Mm. And then I remembered I had some anyway. Um, but we did get some of these, which are welding gauntlets because have a look at the state of poor Helen's arms. I do look like I've been a bit of... Wait. Yeah, look at the state of this, it's ridiculous. And this is from Brambles, isn't it? Yep. I've got a really bad habit of pushing my sleeves up and out of the way. And I honestly didn't notice this at the time. I really That's didn't. Ridiculous. But I look like I've been in a fight with all the cats. You do. <laughs> <laughs> Just having a scrap in the middle yeah. of the field. This is for you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll try and remember to uh, be better. keep my sleeves pulled down <laughs> a bit. But yeah, I should push them out of the way to... Uh, not get too warm <laughs> and instead get very scratched. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Well done. <laughs>
Oh dear, as you could probably tell, it is raining, so we've had to call an end uh, to the end of the day. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's time to get the kids. Uh, end of day three, this is taking much longer than I expected. Yep, Helen much and longer. I, Helen and I were saying, oh, it'll just be one day, because we had a look at the trees and it didn't look that dense, but here's really day bad. three, so it's quite bad. <laughs> really, really bad. The brambles down here are like the mother, father, granddad and grandma of the brambles that were up by the barn. They're really thick and really nasty. And just trying to cut through them is crazy. What are you doing? Are you hiding me? <laughs> Not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's it's due to rain. Oh. Why do you never put it on stop? <laughs> anyway, uh, it's due to rain for the next uh two weeks so it's not due to rain for two weeks it's due to rain for like four days who knows what this will be like <laughs> when we come back it's probably going to be overgrown if you uh, use ridiculous hipster apple weather just use a proper weather app that knows what it's talking about instead of like no. weather for writing poetry in <laughs> uh okay <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we'll be back sooner for you. you. You don't care. It'll be instantaneous. Yep. Uh, so see you in the next scene. <laughs> see you soon. <laughs>